Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to the start of probably the longest series that I'm ever going to do in my whole entire life. It is the start of my Yeovil Town career mode. I know, what the fuck, like. But we're going to start in League 2, and we're just going to work our way up. We're trying to make this, like, our little baby for FIFA 17. We're going to keep it as a consistent series throughout this channel. Only, though, only if you guys like it because this is going to be a long series and it could take up most of my channel as well so if you do like the concept of this video leave a like on the video just so i know that i'll then i'll keep making them so let's get this started so we're gonna we're gonna choose the scout over the price increase because there's no point getting all that money just to get fucking players that don't want to come to us or i know i could buy more scouts but we'll pick a good five star scout He'll scout us. He'll scout us a real, a real good player, man. Oh shit! Press the wrong team. We're not playing with Akron. We're playing with Yeovil Town. So the board expectations of Yeovil Town are their domestic success is medium. They kind of like maybe we'll win the league, maybe not. Who knows? Continental success, no, no good. They don't want to be overseas. Brand exposure, not too worried about it. Financial is high, so they, they looking for that cash, yo. And the youth development is low, which. It's not happening with me, man. So, what I would say is the mess success is high. We're going to try and get out of League 2 straight away. League 2 should be the easiest league. We're trying to get that straight out of there. Contest success, yeah, very low. Brand exposure, very low. Financial, we'll keep that high. And youth development is very high for me, man. We are trying to develop a team here. A team of good youth players, maybe to even sell on. Or to bring, to bring us with, like, to keep with us until we reach the Premier League. Which is going to be the top goal of this series. So let's create let's create myself here. Okay, so this is what I have gone for. I've gone for this guy. Looks nothing like me, but he's the closest, I suppose. First name Mr. Last name Squeebs. That's how you address me on this channel. And I'm from Ireland. So this is it. This is the start of something great. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in. The first thing we're gonna do is look at the team, see what way we're gonna shape it up, see who's on the bench, see who's on the start in eleven. Then we're gonna sort out the scouts. Our main scout, the 5 star rating scout that we just got there and maybe another 2 or 3 just to see what positions I need. And then we're going to sort out the youth staff so we will try and sign some young, good, good, good potential players. Maybe send them out alone depending on what they are. We'll keep them. We'll see how it works. So I'm, lo I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get into this motherfucker. Oh shit, before I get into it actually, match difficulty is going to be legendary. We're going to keep it 4 minutes, we're going to keep it short and we're going to put that in the euro. So now, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we are going to have to do is enter our pre-season tournament. We've been invited, cordially invited to a pre-season tournament. So let's see what we got. So we got this one over here. 1.4 million is what we'll win. We're always going to go for the big bucks, man. We have Cork City, Derry. <laughs> I think Bohemian's there as well. The only reason I know them because they're Irish anyway. So we'll go with that one because it pays the most. And Lord knows Yeovil Town need money right now. And Squeebs is here to save the day. So first things first, we are going to look at the squad. It's preset into a 4-3-3. So that's presumed that's the formation that Yeovil Town usually play in the real lives. So we're going to take a look at all the stats. Look at all of the positions and we're going to work around it. So let's pick this team for the very first time. So this is what we have gone for. We've stuck with the 4-3-3 just so... Just to keep it simple. So we've gone for McLeod up front. He's a decent actually little player. He's got that 77 acceleration. 76 uh, sprint speed and 81 strength. So he's he's going to be a little gem on the team I'd say. We have Hedges out the left wing. Even though he is technically a right midfielder. But he has a left foot. So we'll keep him out there. And we have Can out the right wing. He's actually a decent player too. No he's not. That's not the card I was looking at. <laughs> he's an alright player. Then we have Dawson, Butcher and Dolan in the centre three. I have um, Dawson here, I have his as an instruction to stay back while attacking because his defensive um, mindset is high, so he's a high high but we'll keep him back because his defensive traits are good, so we have the, the five lads pushing up then and he'll just drop back then to kind of make it a back five. And then I've left the back four, they're literally the exact same, Dixon out the left, Smith and Ward in the centre, Shepard out the right, and we have Chrysak, if I pronounce that right, in the goals, and our tax then is just default just to keep it plain and simple. So, looking at the squad, if we could improve anywhere, I'd probably get a left wing. 
and put Hedges then out the right wing instead of Can and put Can on the bench then. So we'll probably look for a left winger and also a centre midfielder kind of slash attacking midfielder because I'd like to play this 4-3-3 as kind of like with an attacking midfielder as well. So left winger, attacking midfielder, that's pretty, pretty much it, yeah. So we'll keep that and now we will sort out the scouts to get our left winger and our centre mid slash attacking midfielder. Okay, so I went in, the preset was already there, they have a left midfielder with first team quality. They already have a few guys in there. First team quality, we're going to change that to like, first team quality and a bit of world class. Because we have our new scout now, he might be able to pick one out. We'll look for, a, we'll just go straight up attacking midfielder and world class and distance shooter. So we're, we're, position we're going to look for is like an attacking midfielder, world class, distance shooter, age between 16 and 25. Keep him young man, keep him young. <laughs> Get that in us. That should be done then. And then we will hire our scout. And where should we send him to look for this left winger and a centre attacking midfielder? I'm going to send him to France. It's a big nation. There's solid, solid quality players in there. So these lads are scouting. This lad is scouting England. This is what the game's already picked for us. So this guy's scouting England. This guy's scouting Japan, obviously. Because we need to keep the continental success thing going but Yeovil aren't really too bothered about that so maybe we can bring him back we'll see we'll think about it and he's in Colombia again maybe we can bring him back as well just to keep it in Europe for now just so we get a better range of players so next up on the agenda is we are going to sort out our youth staff so our transfer budget I think was 900 grand so we can spend big on the scout like so that's the best scout there we'll get him and we will set up a scout network for him and we will go to Germany. Germany seem to have some solid, solid young talent. We're already scouting in England, we're scouting in France, so Germany or Spain is next. So I'm going to pick Germany, three months, and I'm just going to go Annie, just in case we get any sorted little gem, we'll get that sorted. So we'll get him out there and about. So that is, ba that's the team sorted, that's our scout sorted, and we have the youth staff sorted, so... We're not doing too bad, we've everything set up. Our finances, let's see our finances. We're minus 430k profit, no earnings yet and expenses. So what we're going to try and do is maybe just win out this tournament. Get a mil, million and, what is it, 1.4 million in the bank. So our scout has come back actually from Japan saying there's no luck in Japan. So we will, just before the game starts, while it's in my head because sometimes I forget these kind of things. We're going to take him out of Japan, uh, manage scout, we're going to relocate him. We're in England, we're going to put him into Spain. So we're going to put that guy into Spain. So now we have a good, broad place of looking. So we have everything sorted there. We haven't started training yet, we're going to sort out that after this game. But this is actually going to be the only game of this episode, just kind of, it's like a pilot. So if you did like it, drop that video a like. And let's get straight into this game. Let's try and get our first win with Yeovil Town. I actually have a good feeling the team isn't that bad. The backline looks fairly solid. So I don't think we'll concede much. But the scoring might be a problem until we get our midfielder and left winger. But anyway, let's get into it. So here we go. First game of our Yeovil Town career mode. Pre-season friendly against a team that I don't even know who we're playing. I forgot to look actually. Oh no, we can't concede. I just said we had a rock solid defence. Good save, keeper. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's only early yet. We're getting... Oh, I thought I... Oh, I nicked... Oh, free kick. I thought I nicked it off his heels there and we we're going to be in one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, we're in. Oh, oh, if he was only that bit quicker and the pass was just that bit softer, we would have been definitely one nil up there, man. There's a lot of good signs with the team so far. It's not looking too bad. We're actually very dominant in the air. We haven't even come close to losing a header yet so I suppose if you're going to take a positive from Anthony that's a good one okay that is the end of the first half of our very first game we've been doing a lot a lot of defending I'm pretty sure very sure we actually haven't had a shot yet let's see I have to check it out no we've had zero shots zero shots we've done a lot of defending but they haven't really come close for the possession and the dominance they've done so we need to start taking some shots man Yes, hit that. Get in, son. Yes, 1-0. 
we've come out this second half and we've really started to prove ourselves again I think that was our first shot so if this was online the other player would be raging right now that was a good good solid bit of play we took it down the wing played it around bit of one two edge outside the box and smashed it man it's not about how many shots you take it's about how many you score man so it's all good we're one nil up that's good that's good this hedges fell out the left wing is very very good I'd love to see him in his proper position out the right once we uh, try and sign our left midfielder okay 20 minutes left we're gonna make a small little substitution just to see what's the bench like so have this Campbell guy we're gonna put him out the left wing and then we're gonna put hedges out in his original right wing position and uh, we're gonna put Zoko up front see what he's like McLeod really hasn't done anything he's held up the ball well though so that's good and we are going to bring on Lawless instead of Dolan. Let's see what happens with that. Not bad though so far. The team's looking team's looking okay. And get that away. Get that counter attack going. Touch and go. Touch and go. And you're over the top. Oh, that's a ball. Ball and a half. Go on, finesse. Oh, what a goal. And I was just about to take him off. I did take him off actually. He hasn't come off yet, the ball hasn't gone out of play. An absolute screamer of a ball and a beautiful finish. I don't know who played that ball actually, I need to look at that again. That was a serious assist. Great assist. Good start, 2-0. So that is it, we have won our first game with Yeovil Town. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad first half in all fairness, but we came back out in the second half. Got the 2-0 win, man, so I'm pretty happy with that. We played very, very well. <laughs> we've only got two shots as well and we scored both of them that's a good thing though we're taking our chances so not all games are going to be all fucking us keeping possession and shit so it's good that we take chances anyway I'm happy enough with the team so far so that is exactly where I'm going to leave this episode first episode of this career mode remember it's up to you if you want me to see this again leave a like button if you did like it and if you have any players you think I should loan who might come to Yeovil Town drop them down below and I'll give them a look and I will see you in the next video